Pass the wine, Lorelai. You want a straw with that? You're enjoying this? Well, yeah. Laura, I need to talk to you. Chris, what are you doing here? You won't return my calls. Did you do this? I knew you'd be here. I did not do this. You gave me no choice. After I told you to just stay out of it. Lorelai, I did not do this. You have to go. I'm not going until you talk to me. Christopher, Lorelai, come back here. Why won't you call me back? Hey, there couldn't be a worse time to have this conversation. Really? Because it seems to be the only time to have this conversation. Look, go home, OK? I promise I will talk to you tomorrow. Well, sure, I believe that. Hey, I've never lied to you. There's no reason to doubt my word. Really? 45 unreturned phone calls isn't a reason? No, it isn't. You shutting me out like this is wrong. I'm not discussing this with you here in my mother's house. You don't get to dictate this. I need to talk to you. You won't call me back, and I did what I had to do. And I'm sorry. But after all we've been through, especially over these last few months, you shutting me out is wrong. And you know what hits me the hardest, Laura? Apparently it isn't the door on your way out. You keeping Rory from me. What? I never, ever thought you'd do that. I'm not keeping Rory from you. Oh, really? Then why hasn't she called me back, huh? I mean, no matter where you and I have been in our lives, my daughter has always called me back until now. Hey, listen to me. I didn't call you back because I didn't want to. Me. Mom had nothing to do with it. Okay, honey, calm down. You promised me. You promised me at Suki's wedding that this was going to work, that you were going to be there. You promised me. Honey, please understand. No, I always understand. And I don't want to understand. I don't even really want to talk about this right now. I've got mom. That's all I need. Go be somebody else's dad. Don't say that. I'm going upstairs. Call me when he's gone. She did not get there by herself. Hey, have you ever met your daughter? She could get anywhere by herself. She could get to the third dimension by herself. She was helping the crossing guard when she was four. I'm going to talk to her. No, you're not. She wants to be alone and cool off. Respect that. I'll talk to her later. You'll talk to her great. That makes me feel a whole okay. lot better. You need to leave right now. This isn't right. She needs her father. I know she needs her father. I've been telling her she needs her father. But she feels like her father bailed on her and she's mad and hurt and I can't change that in three minutes. Do you think I like this situation? Oh, God. Do you? I mean, after what you and I had going and now... Chris, do you remember why we're here right now? What event in your life caused this very pleasant moment we're sharing? That has nothing to do with this. Oh, it, what? Chris, man, what do you want from me? I want to talk. About what? I don't know. I just... I don't like how things are. But that's how they are. I didn't want things to turn out this way. But they did turn out this way. But I didn't want that. Christopher, is Sherry still pregnant? Of course she are is. Are you still with her? Yes. Are you going to marry her? Yes. Then, honey, we are where we are. Accept it. I can't. Don't you understand that I can't talk to you because it hurts. Talking to you really hurts. Standing here right now is killing me, OK? Don't you understand that? Christopher? I think you'd better go now. Emily, I... Leave now. Please. You know, you need a mask and a horse when you do that. Something's burning. Chris? Give it time. 